Well, greetings. Um, I'm really just recording this for myself, I suppose. Yet I'm going to publish it on YouTube. Because, um, it's easier for me to access it. And, um, if I can share my thoughts and uh, people genuinely find that interesting, I guess that's a good thing. If not, well, if not, then this will just be a rant, which I have for myself. And, uh, it'll be a rant I can look back up, look, look back at, in, um, a year or two. So it will be on my YouTube channel. But, um, yeah, this is just me. Out in the forest, alone. And I guess I... I just need to talk. About... <laughs> about things, really. No, but about life. Um... I have... I have been, um... Away from YouTube for quite some time now, uh, free bonus actually, and it's been because there's been so much shit happening in my life. We have school, I'm finishing college. Uh, in the US, it would be high school. I'm going to university after this summer, so that's been fucking stressful. We have my family situation, which is, um, well, to say the least, fucking uh, not optimal. It's constant fight, constant bickering, and, um, no one is mentally well, including me. And then we have my, my depression. It's just my chronicle depression. I'm on new medication. Started it, um, almost two weeks ago. In two days I will go over to take a whole pill instead of a half but um yeah <laughs> medication only does so much then I've been extremely drugged down by my sleeping medication that I'm going to stop I've decided today actually I'm going to stop taking my sleeping medication because it's only keeping me drugged 24-7 I'd rather have sleep issues and insomnia than uh, being drugged all the time. And then we have my addictions. Nicotine addiction here, of course. But then we have my sugar addiction. That's the big fucking villain. For example, I even have fucking soda with me. But, um, that and my weed dependency. I don't get withdrawal symptoms from weed, because that's not really that big of a thing. There are some withdrawal symptoms, like lack of sleeping with chronic use, but chronic use is nothing I'm close to, luckily enough. But yeah, I smoke pot a bit too often, I will admit. Sometimes it's several times a day. I've already had a pot today. Well, a joint, not a pot. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been away. Oh, and on top of that, my computer fan isn't really working and I lost my external fan, so I haven't been able to edit any videos. I've actually recorded one but I haven't had time to edit it. Um, I do have my fan now. I don't think I'm going to edit this video though. This will just be a rant. No editing, no nice light, just me alone in the forest. Speaking to a camera like the depressed motherfucker I am. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, really, this is just it. This is it. If you're watching this, that's it. Just me, 
talking to a camera and, uh, and admitting why I've been away. And also just recording my mental health for myself. Because I've reached a point where I feel like um, I need to record it. And I will continue making content as per usual. I've got a few video ideas in mind. Making my regular educational content because at the end of the day it gives me joy. I like doing my content. But I might actually just do a bit more of daily blogging as well. Because um, I need to put my shit out there. To no one in particular. Maybe just to myself in the future. Who knows? I frankly don't. And neither does anyone watching this. Unless it is me in two years. <laughs> or five. I don't know. Maybe I will never watch this. Maybe I will. But the th big thing is, I've had a rough time. Lately. Um, and then I just didn't fit in. To society. I am trans. More specifically, I'm genderless. Which makes it even harder. Because society have started to accept binary trans people. A.K.A. trans women and trans men. But uh, not being binary. Not necessarily calling myself non-binary. Because I'm not too comfortable with that label. Because it has its own stigmas and norms and expectations. And you're supposed to use they don't pronouns. Well, I don't give a damn I use it. It's deal with it, world. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Society treats you like shit because of that. And then I'm an honor case, which makes things even more complicated, of course. Because I don't get along with people too well. Because I have very strong opinions. And people aren't too keen on that. So they tell me... To just shut up. Because no one cares. No one gives a shit about you. No one says that outright to me, of course, that would be extreme. But that's the attitude. And it's usually because they're afraid uh, of the unknown, which in this case is me. I am, in essence, the unknown. I am alien. I do not have a gender. I do not believe in authority. I do not believe in money. I do not wish for a gender, for authority, or for money. I do not wish for power over others. I simply wish for power over myself. And that is alien. That is an alien concept. So I'm an outsider. And it sucks. It sucks. Sure, I have my groups. I have some local anarchists that I get along with. I have some local queers. Although I'm going to be thrown out of the queer cafe. Because, um, well, <laughs> very simply. I'm getting too old. I'm getting too old. Because the age limit is 18. And guess it, I'm turning 19 this year. So, I'm too old. So after this summer, I'm no longer welcome. And then I lose all my quests. Almost all my quests. I do have a friend. And he's amazing. But he has his own shit to deal with too. So, I don't want to bother him with all of my shit. Of course. Most people can relate to that. 
But um, at the end of the day, I am just another nobody living in this godforsaken world that people have told me to love. I am, in fact, not special. I am far from the only one who's living this type of life. Far from the only one who's living this shit. I am far from the only trans anarchist out there. And I know, I know I'm not alone in reality. But goodness, can you feel alone? Goodness, can you feel alone? And I'm not saying that life isn't worth living. Because it is. Not for myself, of course. Because if I would only live for my... If I would only live for myself, well, I would have been dead by now. As a matter of fact, I'm not living for myself. Some people call that sad. Other people call it heroic. I call it... a dystopic reality. I cannot live for myself because there is nothing in me to love. Because my brain has been so fucked up by... Being treated like sub subhuman, so I am at a point where I no longer can find fulfillment in my own existence. However, I can find fulfillment in the idea of making other people's existence more bearable, or even making other people's existence enjoyable. Now that is a foreign concept. Enjoyability in this world? Have you smoked crack? Well, maybe. Well, I haven't actually smoked crack because, um... Cocaine does not interest me. But, uh... Maybe I am a bit, um... Crazy. Maybe. But I want people to be free. I want people to be happy. I want people to have what I have not been able to have. And I want revenge. I want revenge on the system. On the culture, on the norms, on the state, on the capital, on everything that have absolutely destroyed me. Systematically. I want revenge on that. And I guess I justify my ref my revenge by saying it's for other people's well-being. Or maybe it's a bit of both. Maybe I'm not just doing it for myself, and I am, in fact, doing it for other people as well. However, I, a big part of it is that I'm doing it for myself. Now, that would make a lot of sense. However, I've realised a bit of things in my time, that one of them is, not everything makes sense. And not everything needs to make sense. Now that one have been extremely tricky to learn, because accepting that not everything needs to make sense, well, let's just say that's been a tough one. But, life is as it is. Existence is as it is. And, um, we better make the best of it. Even though our existence might be a living fucking hell, we can hope that the future generations do not need to go through the same fucking hell that we have. We can hope that their future, that their lives, will be great. And they will not be perfect. Obviously not, but, uh, if we can make their existence a little bit better, a little bit freer, a little bit happier. Isn't that worth existing for? Maybe I'm just making excuses for my own existence. Maybe in reality there is no good reason to exist. But if that is the case, I, well, I quite frankly, I quite frankly, refuse to admit it. And that is because knowledge or the idea 
of there being a point of existing is giving me hope. It's giving me um, a reason to continue breathing. And I don't really care anymore if it is that uh, what I'm fighting for is actually going to win in the end. Although I still strongly believe it will. Humans have always, through history and until history's end, wanted liberty. We always have and we always will. I do not believe that is a big undertaking or a big assumption. Because ask anyone, they would want to say that they want to be able to control their own life. Maybe there are a few who sticks out from that norm. Maybe there are a few who do not want to control their own lives and actually enjoy being put into absolute servitude non-consensually. But I will be frank and honest, I do not believe that is true. I do not believe those people exist. I do not believe that such a blind acceptance to the lack of individuality and the lack of self-control it's human I don't believe that that things are human I do not believe that people simply could accept being put under servitude be slaves essentially for the system I, I don't think that makes sense I don't believe that is true and I most likely never will. But that is fine. Because as long as I fight for liberty, I have a reason to breathe. As long as I fight for other people's happiness, I have a reason to exist. And in my selfish mind, I need one. I do. Because um, at the end of the day, I'm so selfish. Everyone know we all have an ego. The ego doesn't need to control everything. I do not believe so. I think we can uh, make compromises and uh, find solutions with the ego and the pathic side of humanity. The empathy and the sympathy we are capable of feeling and acting upon. But... Um, you still need to accept that you have an ego. You will always have an ego. But an ego is good in moderation. As long as you do not put anything else under your ego. As long as your ego isn't the highest thing you can imagine. The most important thing in your existence. Then an ego is good. It makes us individuals. It makes us have differences. It makes us into individual people. It makes us human. It makes us sensual and sentient. But yeah, humanity is weird. Humanity is weird. And I am just ranting in front of a camera, hoping and begging that someone will see it, that someone will watch this and learn from it. But um, will that ever happen? I don't know. Maybe. I do have a few subscribers, but I doubt that's going to make that big of a difference. I do not expect this video to just blow up. That would be insanity. Although I would certainly hope so. I doubt such will be the case. Because, truth be told, life isn't always feeding you with a silver spoon. And life is always even feeding you at all, not even when you're at your lowest points. I should damn fucking know. I have been at my lowest, with my eating disorder. I am luckily recovered, although I may certainly still have ghosts. Spooks, if you wish. If you wish to be a bit of a sterner. Max sterner. 
but um, I came out of it with the help of my family. And um, if I come down in such a low again, I'll get out of it. Everyone does. Even if you don't have anyone else, you can get out of it just alone. That's a lot fucking harder. <laughs> and it will score you a lot fucking more. But um, you can. And you will. I apparently don't know how to light a cigarette. Despite having smoked for over half a year, I still don't know how to light a cigarette. Isn't that amazing? Oh well. Oh well. Welcome to my existence. Maybe I will make more of these. Maybe I will not. But I think, even if they're not going to become popular, even if they're not blowing up on YouTube and making me famous, 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 which a part of me wants, but a part of me also know it's going to be a living fucking hell, and I'm not going to enjoy it. So I do not enjoy being in front. I have never really been in front. And, um... I don't see the pleasure in it. Well, that's kind of a lie, I suppose. I've been on the front lines of the newspapers. I have held public speeches. I make public video essays. I guess I like having attention after all. But um, it can become too much attention if you become famous. And I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that. But yeah. This has been my first vlog. It's a vlog? Ah oh, shit. Am I making vlogs? Fuck. <laughs> that's, that's utterly a disappointment. I've sent cloak. Oh well. I guess it's a vlog. But it's alright. I'm going to go back to making my old regular content as well. Do not fail out for a minute. If you're watching this and have been a regular, do not fail out for a minute because you would be. Surely, if you assumed that I would ever stop making content about politics, I will not. Even these vlogs will be heavily influenced, influenced, and infused, influenced, ugh, I know how to do words, with politics. Because that is who I am. A weed smoking trans anarchist who's a bit too gothic for their own good for its own good say it that's my pronouns still feels weird speaking about myself in third person but yeah that is who I am that is who this channel will focus on and uh, it doesn't really matter if I get famous because I'm still going to make my content I'm still going to fight and I'm uh, not gonna stop. Because I refuse. Well, I think that's about the end of this video. Because um, I don't want to ramble on for too long. If you've actually watched this, um, <laughs> then what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck have you listened to me rambling all day? 
but also thank you. And um, I don't want to say leave a like, leave a comment, but you know, this is YouTube. And I still want my channel to be able to get out so I can teach more people about politics. And sociopolitics, I should say. And anarchism and its philosophy. But oh well, if you've watched this, well congratulations. You've just wasted, I don't know how much, 20, 30 minutes of your life listening to an fucking young bastard non-conforming pothead talk about its issues in life and its philosophies. Well, I guess that's the way to spend your day, too. Anyhow, have a good one, comrades. And I will see you in my next video. That's hopefully not another rant. <laughs> but yeah, have a good one, and I will see you later. Bye.